Hi guys! I had just recorded a whole video and then I got a phone call and so it stopped recording and that's what happens when you're using your cell phone. So <laughs> I really hadn't said a whole whole lot. Um, basically said I've had a weird illness that I have no idea what it is. I thought it was a head cold. Um, then it transitioned to what I thought might be a fluish type thing and then it's now into like some type of facial congestion thing that I thought might have been a sinus infection at this point in time. I don't think that's what it is. I don't really know. But I'm getting better. That's all I know. I'm feeling better. Um, hopefully this congestion is gone within a day or so because it's just really obnoxious. Um, had a really crazy day at work today obviously um, with being sick I was out for two days so there was quite a bit of stuff to catch up on and um, as far as law enforcement goes um, we had a pretty crazy week um, last week there was an officer involved shooting in the capital of Idaho uh, in Boise and two of um, the Boise Police Department officers were shot and um, one of them was just shot in the leg and he was released from the hospital within a day or so of the incident. Um, he is doing better. Uh, he is going to probably have physical therapy and stuff that he's gonna have to deal with, but he's doing better. Uh, the other officer is still in the hospital. Um, and uh, he, from what I've heard, is talking now, which is good. Um, but he has a very, very, very long road ahead of him. Um, they have not given a time frame. They said it's going to be months and months of physical therapy. Um, and they also have not even specified where he was shot at. So, um, there's that. And then we had a canine that was also shot in the same incident. Um, and they had taken him to the vet and performed surgery on him on Friday. He ended up losing one of his lungs. Um, I'm guessing, they said that he was shot in the chest. I'm guessing that it pierced his lung uh, and that, that's why they had to remove it. Um, he was released from the hospital like a day or so after and went home with his handler and he had gone back in for his checkup on, I think it was Tuesday. Um, there was a candlelight vigil on Tuesday night. He attended um, that candlelight vigil, and that was uh, for the officers still in uh, the hospital. Um, and apparently sometime last night, he started having some issues, and they took him back into the vet, and they went to perform emergency surgery because he was hemorrhaging right around his heart. And he did not make it. He ended up going into cardiac arrest and he didn't make it. So we had all of that and then obviously kept playing catch up at work and it just, it's been not, not a fantastic week. Um, I mean, I don't really have a whole lot to say about that. I mean, I'm sure I, you guys know I have two dogs and dogs are awesome. I, I love dogs so, so much, and um, being a part of the law enforcement community, you know, that's, it's a big loss, and so uh, they said they have like seven police dogs when he was there, so now they're down to six. Um, I don't know if and when they're going to get a new police dog, but yeah, so... Um, found that news out this morning, um, saw a press conference on it this afternoon. It's not, not good news today, but, um, it's one of those things you're going to get through and it's obviously always a risk. So, um, I was trying to see, think if I had any happy news for you guys. Uh, Gavin had his birthday this week, um. He said that it was one of the best birthdays he's ever had, so that's good. Happy that uh, we were able to give him a great birthday. Um, we 
went over to my mom's house and my brother is in town so that's cool he uh, lives about 400 miles away so you don't get to see him super often and so it's always good when he's in town and he's going to be staying um, till around Thanksgiving and that means that he's also going to be here for my birthday so that's really cool um, going to a concert on Sunday that I'm super excited about um, I have posted a couple of little videos on Instagram where I have used his music as the music in it um, his name is Lincoln Durham um, he plays, well, his first two albums were kind of a southern rock bluesy type music. Um, the new stuff, it has, has darker theme to it, I guess. I don't really know how to describe it. Um, it has a darker theme to it than the other music does. I freaking love him though. He is so amazing and, um, trying to remember what age they said he started playing uh the fiddle I think it was four I want to say he was four and um started playing the fiddle and he can play basically any freaking instrument you put in front of him now like he's insane and um when I've seen him twice so far this year so Sunday will make three times this year he can play like he has one of the um foot drums and a tambourine and a snare drum and then usually some type of guitar whether it's a guitar or a banjo or a cigar box that's turned into a guitar or whatever he can play all of that at once one man show he does not have a backup band he plays all by himself and it is freaking amazing and I am going with my mommy and so it makes me really really happy um, so it's right before my birthday and uh, he's just awesome I can't wait to see him I can't wait for my mom to see him I don't know if she's gonna enjoy him or not uh, when I we went to a hockey game on Friday and um, we were listening to him in the car she didn't comment on whether or not she liked it but I'm hoping I'm hoping that she enjoys it I am hoping that she has a good time it's been quite a while since I've been to a concert with my mom I'm not even 100% sure when the last time was, but I kind of feel like it was probably in 2003-ish. It's been a while. I don't remember for sure, but I'm excited for her to go. Um, I'm excited to see him again. If you guys have never heard of him, you should go check him out because if you enjoy him, then you're going to be very glad that you did. <laughs> and if not, then you're not out anything. So I think that's, that's about it. Um, hopefully my next video won't be such a downer. Um, <laughs> I did find the charger cord to my digital camera, so I'm hoping that I can actually film a couple of real videos soon. Um, I'm hoping. We're going to try and see. I did some stuff yesterday. I just recorded a little bit of vlogging yesterday. I'm going to see if it will let me uh, edit it on my computer since it doesn't allow me to edit the cell phone stuff um, but I'll try that and see if it lets me edit that and if it does then yay we might be able to have some real videos soon so I want to thank you guys for hanging in with me um, if you haven't subscribed to my videos and you enjoy my content go ahead and click the subscribe button so that you can get notifications of when I post new videos since I'm not on the schedule that's the way to find out when I posted um, and then if you liked this video go ahead and click the like button that helps me out and lets me know that you're there I'd also enjoy to see your guys's comments and I do try to reply back to everybody I know that um, YouTube is not the greatest as far as giving notifications on that stuff. I don't really know what happened to the creator uh, app that they have because before it would give me notifications when I got a notification. Like if somebody commented, hey, I had a notification saying so and so commented on your video and I could reply. And it stopped doing that. And I even went in and checked my settings and everything says, tell Tansy when you have new comments. Nope. Nope. YouTube does not follow that and does not tell me. So I've been trying to remember to go in and check. Um, I mostly feel like 
there's probably not going to be any comments. So I, I would love it if you guys do comment so that I uh, have lots of stuff to read when I get on there. And I would love to be able to have some talking and interaction with you guys. So thank you for watching. I love you pumpkins. And I hope you are getting into your own Halloween mischief. And I will see you next time. Bye.